So bispecific therapy or bispecific antibodies is an incredible new advance. And we're thrilled to see two approvals of agents for patients with relapsed large cell lymphoma in the past few months. First, we saw epcaridumab be approved, and more recently, we've seen glofitimab be approved. Both of these are CD20, CD3 bispecifics, targeting the B cell and the T cell, and basically bringing them up close and personal so that the T cells can investigate the malignant B cells. These were approved in patients with relapsed large B cell lymphoma, many of whom had prior CAR T cell therapy. And I think that now knowing that CAR T cells are superior to chemo and transplant and have an overall survival advantage over chemo and transplant, CAR T cells are likely to remain the current standard of care and second line therapy, but having two active, very effective uh, bispecific antibodies approved in relapsed large cell, they certainly are a valid therapy to be considered in third line and potentially could be considered the most active therapy in that space. There have been no randomized head-to-head -head trials comparing other targeted therapies like tafacitimab, lenalidomide, or longcastuximab, or polituzumab, or others compared against bispecifics. So there's no way to know for sure what the best line therapy is, but there are a significant number of patients on the bispecific trials who had disease that progressed after CAR T cell therapy and still got a response to bispecifics. So I think for the time being, bispecifics will likely be in patients who either had CAR and the CAR didn't work or last, um, or patients who are not able to receive a CAR. If it's uh, due to logistics, like they can't travel or stay at a CAR T cell center, if they don't wanna get a CAR T cell, they could get a bispecific. But I think bispecifics are a, a fascinating class of new drugs. And what we have now is just the start of what I hope is many more things to come, including combination trials and including uh, potentially even for frontline therapy with bispecific antibodies.